Hi guys, my name is Tina and I am traveling around the world and I'm currently in Mexico City for the first time which means in this video I'm going to share with you my first impressions of Mexico City. We're going to do cafe hopping because that's what I love to do and a little bit of sightseeing. As I'm going to travel for a couple of more months I decided to try to find a hairdresser here. But first things first I want to get a metro card or a card with which I can use trains and metro and buses here. Guys, you would not believe what just happened. I went to this station, to this counter to get a card. This guy again wasn't really speaking English, but apart from that he was trying to help me. A couple approached me and they just gave me their card. Um, yeah. On my first day in Mexico City I tried finding an English speaking hairdresser. I went to two different ones and asked if they can fit me in and how much it would cost. Got an appointment for Friday this week. Afterwards I went to this Italian place for lunch because I was so hungry and it was close by. Mexico City is one of the largest and most populous cities in the world. With over 21 million people living in a metropolitan area, it is considered a mega city. Surprisingly, it has many parks I told though. you it's nice here. Yeah, I went to this hairdresser. Later I looked up how much it is and honestly. So I tried the second hairdresser and it's like half of the price. Mexico City has also a lot of nice cafes, of which you will see a bunch in this video. Sorry, do you speak English? Ah, they will want. We have a table, yes. Ah, we have a table outside for you. I'm not 100% sure what I ordered because most menus are in Spanish. It's like a lemon tart. I might have found the best cafe in Mexico City. What I like the most about this cafe is not only the cats, but the fact that they are adopted and the owners are taking really good care of them. going to try to take the train today and it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow so I'm currently trying to get there before it starts raining. It's beautiful, it's maybe the best thing that I've seen so far since being here but also I haven't really done much sightseeing yet. The Palacio del Bella Art is known for its architectural blend of neoclassical and Art Nouveau styles. So much to take in photos today, I came here early for that but can you see the construction work that they're doing right now? I think I just have to walk around a bit and maybe find a different spot. To prevent the sinking of the Palacio de Bella Art due to the city's soft soil, it was constructed on a floating foundation. The entire structure rests on a system of rubber bearings, allowing it to adjust to the city's geological conditions. So I try to take some photos, but for some reason, I don't know, here are not so many tourists that would like prevent you from taking at least a couple of good pictures. Oh my god, you guys, I just found the cutest bakery here in the street, but unfortunately you cannot dine in. Okay, I got something at the bakery. Everything they had in this bakery there was incredibly cheap, so you could see like people running around having like huge trays and I only got two things. Felt a little bit awkward. Very flaky, probably how you would describe it. How to. I'm not sure what exactly is happening, it's probably this is opening at some point. I have the feeling that it's going to be really crowded and busy here for one or two hours. The Metropolitan Cathedral is one of the oldest and most significant cathedrals in the Americas. Construction began in 1573 and continued for over 250 years. I just got off the bus and I had like the weirdest bus ride of my life. The bus didn't come and another bus came and I asked the bus driver if I can get on this bus and he was like, 
And then I noticed, like, I'm always checking on Google Maps where I am, that it's going in the wrong direction. Like, I don't know, there were a couple of people who were talking about that. Like, they noticed that I was at the wrong, that I was lost. And then there was suddenly a guy that spoke English, and he helped me find the right station. And there was this woman on the bus, and I was trying to get off the bus, and then she started talking to me because I pressed this button, and probably that was wrong. And then she started talking to me and I told her maybe like two or three times, like, I'm so sorry, I can't understand you. And she kept and kept talking to me. Um, so that was weird and can be difficult if you can't speak the language. By the way, I started to use Duolingo for that. But of course, after four or five days, I'm not fluent. I only went to this cafe because it was close by, but I really loved it and the food was great. Basically, I arrived like four or five days ago and then maybe on my second day I downloaded Duolingo and started to learn a couple of words, but it's already paying off. I just asked for the toilet and he understood me, so that's a win. Right now you're seeing me heading towards Chapultepec Castle, one of the must-see places when you come to Mexico City. Turns out you need to get a ticket when you want to go to the castle. I was of the impression that I maybe can just go there. It's a huge line, actually. I got in, but this is going to be a little bit shaky because they just made me take off my tripod because they see it as a selfie stick, even though it's just this like small thing that I'm using to hold my camera. <sighs> Chapultepec Castle has a rich history dating back to the Aztec Empire. The word Chapultepec means hill of the grasshopper. Okay, so I'm heading to lunch now. It's a place that was walkable from the castle, even though it's always like a hustle to cross the streets, but what can you do? I had saved this restaurant on Google Maps like I do with so many others of my destinations, but when I arrived there I noticed they are a little bit on the expensive side. I wanted to try their Chilean Nogada, but I learned that especially this dish is always expensive. Okay, so that wasn't a bad lunch, but this place was quite expensive. If I have the feeling something is expensive, I looked the menu up and I had the feeling it was okay, but it wasn't. <clears throat> what surprised me a lot about Mexico City was not only that they have a lot of trees in the city, a lot of really nice parks and extremely good public Wi-Fi. to check out this area, Plaza Garibaldi, and because it's so early, there's absolutely nothing at the moment. Anyway, it just it's supposed to be a nice area with like colorful buildings where you can take nice photos. Plaza Garibaldi is often referred to as the home of mariachi music. It is the epicenter of traditional Mexican music and mariachi bands. Usually it's like go early to places in order to avoid the crowds. Sometimes it's just not the case. Heading to a cafe now, maybe to get some work done. Because most menus are Spanish in Mexico City, sometimes I really wasn't sure what I was ordering. But this type of, let me call it Mexican bread, was really good. I just finished my brunch, came out of the cafe and this going on. What I learned later is that unionized judicial workers were protesting the government's decision to end certain magistrate privileges. I haven't asked anyone because I'm not sure who speaks English and who doesn't. <laughs> I was trying to flee from the city center because it's just so crowded and it's a Sunday, so it's probably even worse today. This has to be one of the coolest photo locations I've been to so far. Yeah. 
My goal was to go to an ice cream place, but because it was really hot and I was walking a lot anyway, I took a little break at this cafe and got a drink. If you have some patience, you can also walk a lot in Mexico City, but it's easier to get around by bus or car. So today is my last day in Mexico City. It has been a huge amount of fun. Love this city. And I'm right now I'm heading to the hair salon. Got my appointment today. I'm not going to do a lot today because it's my last day. I need to pack and prepare everything for tomorrow for the flight and all. You're going to see me in the next scene with a different hair color and style. Ta-da! So this is how it turned out. I still need a couple of seconds to get used to it. Feels very, very nice. It was supposed to be a brown, a dark brown. It turned out really dark. It is supposed to be a dark brown. Just in case it doesn't look like that in a video, it, it doesn't look like that in real life either. <laughs> I got some tips, I got some advice on what I have to do. They gave me a formula for the color they used. So if I go to the next hairdresser, I can just show them the formula. This is the menu. So on my last day I could have gotten some Mexican food as well, but I was so intrigued by how this place looks like, like with the bookstore and the cafe all at once. The dish itself was okay, but their bread was really good. 